You know what? I'm gonna say it. Listen up. You deserve to treat yourself. This horrible tan line deserves luxury. Today, we're going on a date. Let's go. Oh, and by the way, a big thank you to Target for sponsoring this video. Ugh, very sweaty. It's good for the pores. Give me this glow. What's up, my chickpeas? We are back at it again. gives me serotonin, and during this year, that's all I'm looking for. Oh my god, I am finched for the gods. In this gay culinary institute, today is date night. With me, with myself, who do you, do you think I have time to meet up with somebody else? This is about self-love and self-empowerment. In this kitchen, it's all we stand for. I feel like I can't breathe on the apron. Maybe I'll take it off for now. I do want to miss in my nice shirt. I picked up a little organic spring mix. What am I? What we're going to be making is a very fresh salad here. A little bit of salt, a little bit of sweet, a little bit of crunch. Everyone in my family cooks very, very well. And then I'm over here just like winging it. But I like what I make. I think what I make tastes great. It's more that I just don't do it with any sort of Method. Mmm, flavor, flavor, flavor. Add a little bit of cucumber. Oop, it all just, it all fell to the bottom. Okay. I just like a big knife. I like a big knife. I like a big knife. <laughs> we have fun here. So like I was saying in the beginning of the video, all the food that I'm eating and preparing in this video is provided by Good and Gather, AKA Target's newest and largest grocery brand spanning across food and beverages. Tons of easy meals, tons of simple meals. They have everything. The reason I am so excited about this partnership is because I love Target. I go to Target all the time. I am there almost as much as I am home. All the food is made with taste and quality in mind. And as someone is a vegetarian, I find it easy to shop there. There are still plenty of options for everyone. Also, can I add, none of the products contain artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, synthetic colors, high fructose corn syrup, none of it, none of it at all. I'm a big fan. I'll say it. Okay, we have some goat cheese crumbles that are already pre, pre-crumbled. Magical. I may not be a chef, but I am, I'm at least Michael Jordan at the moment. Somebody date me, damn. Gotta clean up, I'm too much of a Virgo to have this mess. How's that water doing? No boiled yet. The fight continues. It's boiling, baby! Okay, so now I remove the burrata, lemon zest, and herb ravioli. <laughs> Opulence. Opulence. Ah! We're fine. We're fine. It's fine. You know, just another day in the life of the Gay Culinary Institute. Okay, so for the ravioli, I wanna make this kind of basil, lemon, olive oil sauce to put on top of it. I do have tools. I do know things. I have skills, I swear. Me to all my friends with college degrees. I do know things. I do have skills. Pasta is done. Oh no, I don't have a strainer. But I do have a zester that could be used as a strainer. I'm... <laughs> that worked so well, shut up. Wow, who needs anything? Help! Help! Thank you. <sighs> what a day. Ah, 
What a lovely spot. Very um homey, familiar. Oh, and you get to watch the chef cook right there. Wow, this is amazing. The lemon seeds are popping like popcorn. Help! <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> okay, so what we got here, an apple cider vinaigrette. I can whew, with that. Yes, yes, yes. Salt and pepper. I'm a jock. I can't believe everyone's not talking about this place. I mean, the aesthetic, the service. It's groundbreaking. You're everything. <sighs> Getting a little bit peckish. Appetizer, table one. Oh, that's me. Oh, wow. Fresh, crunchy, not so seasonal, but it doesn't matter. Y'all, for real, this is freaking good. The apple, the goat's cheese. Somebody decorate this chef. While that's happening, let's prep our main. I miss my calling. I didn't ruin it! Yeah. Mm, this is fantastic. Really wish I had my main to go. Oh! Main for table one. Good service too. I can't believe this hidden gem. Is this a slice of lemon? What gourmet? <sighs> What a life, what a day. Oh my God, that's illegal. <laughs> my compliments to me. Check your restaurant reviews later, sir. Five stars coming your way. And people go on dates with other people. Mm, sounds exhausting. This says, nobody judging me, nothing to worry about. I'm stress-free, I'm with myself. Sounds like a better deal to me. <sighs> what a great day to be me. <laughs> For me, an ideal date, honestly, is just having a relaxing day, which is really, really hard to do sometimes. Run, get ready, have all those morning times. Go to Target, buy some food. I'll throw on some music. I'll eat the delicious food. I'll make my way over to the couch. I'll watch a movie, a television show. I'll eat some more snacks because I'm a glutton. And once I'm done eating, I immediately think, when do I get to eat again? That's my ideal date. Am I so hard to please? I don't know why there's a stigma against it. I think solo date nights are great. I think they're important. I think we all should have a little me time sometimes. Is there anything wrong with that? The only thing you're stuck with for life is yourself. You better love that person. This day of relaxation, this date day, was an overall success. And now, we lounge. I don't consider myself an amazing cook or an amazing chef, but I have fun doing it. Cooking, although sometimes a catastrophe, I've set a fire or two, <laughs> is soothing. It's peaceful and I have a good time while doing it. Sometimes you just gotta treat yourself. Sometimes you just gotta take yourself on a date because you are very important and it's more than okay to put yourself first sometimes. I try to tell myself that a lot. So anyone else who needs that reminder, it's okay to put yourself first. We all need a little luxury. Anyways, thank you again to Good & Gather for sponsoring this video. Really, really appreciate you a lot. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are having a great life and I will see you soon. Bye. I don't need another man to provide me with self-worth. I assign that to myself. Watch this, I bet I can get three in a row. One. Two. Three.